Good afternoon, everybody. Olav here, and welcome back to Laura Jones and the Gates of Good and Evil. So let's hear. Laura found the second part of the letter in the library. Bob told her that Claudia Gliss, a professor of chemistry, was recently doing research in the same archive that contained the letter, and that the footprints of Professor in Professor Adams' office might be from Claudia's monkey, her only friend. As a result, Laura decides to pay Claudia a visit. 1.55 p.m., the Chemistry Department Laboratory. Professor Gliss? Yes, and who are you? You're definitely not one of my students. My name is Lord Jones. I'm Professor Adams' assistant. And what brought you here? Well, you probably heard that he is in the hospital. I have. Now get to the point. Well, I think his condition is somehow connected to an artifact that he recently discovered. He was studying it just before he fell... Before... He was studying it just before fell into a coma. Lovely English. I'm not concerned about what Professor Adams was working on. My field is chemistry, not archaeology. Then why were you also studying the uh, interested in the artifacts he was studying? What makes you think that I am? Well, excuse me, but isn't that piece of paper on your desk from the library? My interests are none of your concern. Enough. I'm very busy now. Goodbye. Well, I uh, can. Bob was Bob was rather kind when Professor with Bo Bob was rather kind when describing Professor Gliss. How do her students put up with her? I swear that piece of paper on her desk is from the same letter as in the archive. She obviously knows something about these artifacts. So, what you gonna do? 2.15 p.m., the university guest house. I'm sure that piece of paper on Professor Gliss's desk is part of that letter from the archive. I bet that she is, was sneaking around Professor Adams' house, so I think I'll repay the favor and sneak around her lab late tonight. Collect everything that you will need for sneaking around Professor Gliss's lab. Okay, like... Shoes! Shoes are good. A hoodie! Hat. Pants. Pants are good to have, no matter whether you're sneaking around or not. Shoulder bag. Rope. Yep. Uh, let's see here. Ooh, belt. A knife. A flashlight. There's one of our gloves. I'm sure we need, yep, socks. Socks are good to have. Again, just in general, not specifically for breaking and entering. Alright, so we need a sock, a pen, and a pad of paper. Okay, there's the pen. There's the pad of paper. So we just need one last sock. Ah! A sock so color- so- so colorly bland that it blends right in. Looks like you have everything. Now you just have to wait until dark. Claudia denied going to the library, but Laura noticed the last part of the letter on her desk. Claudia started acting weird and made a quick exit. Laura made a bold decision to return to the laboratory at night 
to look for the last part of the letter. Let's do it! 10.30 p.m., the chemistry department laboratory. Now, where did she hide that paper? Like, that's much better. Okay, so there's, yeah, I was gonna say, there's, there's bits of the... There's bits of the, um, of the, the, the periodic table missing. I thought I saw a question mark up around here. Yep, I did. Door hand, uh, drawer handle. Uh huh. So we are looking for what? 79? Make sure it's not another one that's like hidden up here. No, it's not, okay. Clock is broken, the arms free, the hands move freely. Oh, there's a slide there. Okay, 1035. Aha! Oh! Secret hiding place. Won't budge. I need the key to open it. Okay. Where could she be hiding the key? Where is she hiding the key? Ah, the assortment of various chemicals here. Nope. Ah, okay, so green. So green, red, brown, orange, blue. Okay, that totally did not need to happen. I believe that this is just a legend. However, my discovery is astonishing. The people who made this key are totally unknown to me. It doesn't look like anything we've discovered before. Things are very unstable in this area, so I'm attack attaching this letter with my discovery so I can send it with a trusted friend. Sincerely yours, Greg Smith. Another artifact. And another ordeal. Family of hedgehogs is hungry. Help the wild animals. Okay. Oh, okay. It's one of these types of games. There we go. Okay. So we have to shoot down the pears. That should be pretty easy. Yay! Pears or apples. They totally look like pears.
Okay, so what if we pull that one down? There we go. All right. Cool. Yay, more apples. Hooray. Thank you, kind sir. Alright, there's one, there's two, there's three. The hedgehogs will be very happy, apple pie for the entire family. Didn't know hedgehogs could make apple pie, but alright. Okay, so I have to go somewhere dark? Somewhere primitive? I think I understand now. Each vision is a clue that shows me where the next artifact is located. That's strange. I don't remember any torches at the university. I have a hunch that it's somewhere underground. I'll have to ask Bob. Maybe he knows. In Laura's latest vision, she saw a torch and believes that the next artifact is located in an underground chamber. She figures the only one who can know anything about this is Bob. So Laura decided to pay her old friend another visit. I'm assuming in the morning. Yeah. 9.20 a.m. The Faculty Kitchen. Laura... Have you seen the caramum? Cardamom? Um, no, I haven't. Good morning? It must be Daisy. I've told her a hundred times to clean up after herself. And now that I want a cup of fresh coffee with cardamom, I can't find either the cardamom or the coffee. I was just thinking about making a cup for myself. How about I make coffee for both of us? Okay, maybe you can make sense out of this mess. I'll go see if the morning paper's here. 28 coffee beans. I'm assuming, yeah, they're just like, they can be anything. They can be actual coffee beans, drawings of coffee beans, pretty much anything. There are a whole heck of a lot of them. Seven more. After all the ones we've already collected, we've still got seven to go. Wow. Four more, and my brain is just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, got coffee beans, coffee beans. I'm gonna be seeing coffee beans in my dreams now, thanks to this game. And that's just never works out well for anybody, because it's like you're dreaming of coffee while you're asleep, and it's like that's, that's not good. All right, one more. Ah, it's on the floor. Just what you, where you want to pick up your coffee beans is from the floor. All right, so we need to put the coffee in here. Take the crank, put it there. Now we have coffee grounds. Ow. 
Add water to the Turkish coffee pot only after you've added the... Oh, okay. Well, there's the co there's the coffee. I need the step ladder for that. Well, here's a nail. All right, move it over, get the, that, put that in there. Now add the water. Coffee is ready. Pour it in there. Ah, your coffee's ready. Mmm, what a wonderful smell. I just can't imagine breakfast without the morning paper and a good cup of coffee. Thank you. Don't mention it. But maybe you can repay the favor by helping me with something. I'm all ears. What can I help you with, Laura? Bob, you know the buildings of the campus better than anyone I know. Do you know if there's anything underneath any of the buildings? Well, most of the buildings have basements, but I remember one of the buildings was built on top of some, old, some sort of old chamber. Really? How do we get there? Hmm, I can't say that I was ever interested in it, but I remember reading about an entrance. And where could it be? I remember reading about it in the university archives. At the turn of the century, there was a professor who thought he knew where the entrance was. Is that document still in the archive? I'm not sure. Can I look for it? Hmm, the archive isn't open to the general public, but as a librarian, I think I can find it for you. Thanks, Bob. All right, well, that is where we're going to end it for today. So we made coffee, we got the next artifact, and we kind of have an idea. Laura has finally put two and two together and realized that one artifact leads to the next. Ah, <sighs> took her long enough. As always, thank you guys very much for watching, and don't forget to prod the subscribe button down below so that you can stay tuned for more from Olav Productions. If you wanna see some crazy Here you so lazy, you should meet me and my friends. What Even the heck? It's no just like, okay, yep, I'm gonna go away now. Like, and then all of a sudden, Right up in your face. What? What do you want? These vampires are stronger, faster, and able to heal quickly, but they have to feed regularly on only human blood.